All right, hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, this is Tommy from No Funko Misfits, and I have a really special box that I wanted to unbox for y'all, or open, I guess, for y'all. Um, it is from Martian Toys. It's my first thing that I bought from them, and I was lucky enough to get these before they sold out in like 30 seconds, I wanna say. Uh, so I've already cut open the box, so without further ado, Let's flip this open. Now this is not Funko. These are Quix, who is a designer, artist, toy artist. And his stuff is incredible. It's some of my favorite stuff I've ever seen. Let me open this one real quick. I'm not sure which one it is. They had two, they call them DIYs, do-it-yourselfers, uh, that went live one was black a blank black one and the other was a blank glow in the dark one and this is the black one it appears so the other one must be the glow in the dark i'm going to take this out of the box because this is just i don't know if you can see that it is just amazing i love the way these things look let me open this and it's really cool it comes with another set of arms because you can pop off these arms oh my gosh so cool that is my corgi she barks at everything look at that focus no you're probably not going to focus are you you're gonna have a fun time but that is that's the black blank and yeah, his head turns you can pop the arms out if you want to I'm not going to do it, but that is right there. I'm going to open the other one real quick, which should be the glow in the dark one. I hope they didn't give me both <laughs> blacks. But you actually were not allowed. Uh, the thing that I love about, well, one of the things I love about Martian Toys is they are committed to stop flippers. Um, they, You're only allowed to buy one of each colorway, and this is the glow in the dark. Um, and there were 40 of each, I want to say. I think there were 40 of each when they dropped. And this is the second drop for the glow in the dark and the black. Um, I'm sure there will be plenty more because it's meant to be a do-it-yourself for artists to customize. Um, I'm not really an artist, but I love this figure. I just, yeah, I, I can't get enough of it. I'm gushing right now. I'm so happy to have those. So, Quicks. Um, so I first heard about these characters from uh, my friends Hauk and Mikhail, uh, Jonathan and Eric, and I saw those two, and I saw that one, the Super Retro, which is like a SNES uh, controller and system, and I just I fell in love with them. I saw all three of them posted, and I had to have them. And then I started looking at more Quicks and they're just so cool uh the artist is working on newer stuff and uh there's some new things that are dropping actually uh this one piece the ravager just dropped the other day and sold out instantly um but another thing that they did to combat bots is they uh anytime you used a specific somebody if you use the specific hashtag they would message you on twitter and say hey do you want to buy this early and it was it was awesome of them to do that. Um, so this last thing that I have is not in a box. I took it out already because it had a bunch of the uh, little popcorn things in it. Um, drop that right there. And let you take a look. Might be able to see what that is right there. So Trevor, we were when we started this whole hunting for designer toy stuff. We were all finding our own artists that we like. Trevor found Nathan Hamill, son of Mark Hamill, and pointed him out to me. And I was like, oh, cool, because I'm a Star Wars nerd. Um, and his stuff is awesome. Look at that. He calls that one the Bellicose Bunny. And there are a few different variants of this one. I'm gonna take this right out of the box. So give me a second. There are a few different variants of this one. Um, I 
hopefully I'm gonna get the glow in the dark one. Uh, it's it's kind of certain, but I just don't want to uh, say anything until I actually have it on the way. Um, but I thought I was bidding on a black and white one on eBay. It turned out to be this glow in the dark version that they only made. He only made 50 of, and I missed it. I I missed out on the auction, and. So I posted in this group, sorry, I'm still taking this thing out of the box, it's really intricate. I posted in the group, this group, this designer toy group, uh, designer toy universe, I believe, uh, just asking if anybody had one that they would part with. And somebody said, hey, you should just message Nathan Hamill. I was like, oh yeah, okay, I'll, I'll message Nathan Hamill. Look at that. He's so cute. <laughs> I love this thing. It's so cool. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, so anyway, so I messaged, messaged Nathan Hamill, and he wrote me back, uh, believe it or not, uh, pretty quickly, actually. Um, and he said that he didn't have any of this particular figure, but he would contact the sculptor for me. Uh, and that was where we let We traded a couple of emails back and forth, but uh, I'm supposed to hear back from him uh, on whether or not the sculptor has a glow-in-the-dark piece for me. Which would be really, really awesome because uh, it seems like he's a really nice dude and uh, this is all working out really well. And I love this piece. He's got a few more pieces um, on his site, uh, NathanHamill.com. Not that I'm plugging him or anything. Um, that's really cool. There that are really cool uh, that I'm probably going to get into also. But that's anyway, that's my haul for today. I hope you enjoyed the unboxings and uh yeah hopefully we'll see you again soon don't forget to like and subscribe and you'll see more of this kind of cool stuff hopefully there will be more some more live stuff too oh and there's my dog again all right peace